Physics questions can often be done in multiple ways. One way may give you a very long solution, but another approach to the same question can give you an answer extremely quickly. Let us look at a question like that. This question here appeared in JE and later also appeared in NEET. Let us see the question carefully. The upper half of an inclined plane with inclination phi is perfectly smooth. So here I have an inclined plane. The upper half is perfectly smooth while the lower half is rough. So this part is rough. A block starts from rest, slides down and then because of friction it slows down to rest. We want to find the coefficient of friction for this rough portion. How do we go about doing it? There are many different ways to solve this problem. One common way that people use is to use Newton's laws to find out the acceleration here and the acceleration there. And then they use the equations for uniform accelerated motion to solve this problem. It's a long approach. This is a solution somebody had posted. You can see how long this is. Easily it can take you 5 minutes. But if you use the concept of energy, the same problem can be done in half a minute. Let us take a look. So here I have this block that starts from rest. So 0 meters per second. It slides down. Okay, This is the rough portion. So it stops here. So therefore here also it has a velocity of 0 meters per second. So what is the kinetic energy there? Zero. Kinetic energy here? Zero. So what is the change in kinetic energy? Zero. But work energy theorem tells us that the change in kinetic energy of a body is the work done by all forces. All forces. What are all the forces acting on this block? Let us see. So this block has mg which can be resolved as mg sin phi and mg cos phi. It also has a normal force N. For the smooth part of the motion, that's it. These are the three forces that we need to worry about. But for the rough part of the motion, there is a friction force F as well. Okay? So the work done by all four forces is basically what we want. But the work done by normal force is zero. Work done by mg cos phi is zero. Why? Because the force is perpendicular to the motion direction. So we really want to know what is the work done by friction plus what is the work done by mg sin phi. That's what we want to know. If we calculate these two, that will give you the work done by all forces. Okay, let us think about friction. What is the value of friction? Friction, because it's sliding, must be equal to mu times n. But n is equal to mg cos phi. So friction must be mu mg cos phi. What is the work done by friction? Mu mg cos phi and the displacement is in the opposite direction. Let's call it x. So the work done by friction is minus mu mg cos phi into x. Okay? Why minus? Because the friction force and the displacement, they are in opposite direction. What do you think about the work done by mg sin phi? Well, you can say mg sin phi into x, but that will not be correct because friction acts from this point to this point, only for half of the incline. Whereas mg sin phi starts acting there. So it's going to go from here all the way there. This is x plus x. So that means mg sin phi acts over a displacement of 2x. So what is the work done by mg sin phi? So that is mg sin phi into 2 times x. So now this is the work done by friction, that is the work done by mg sin phi. The total work done by all forces is this, which of course we know is 0 because the change in kinetic energy is 0. So that means this whole expression must be 0 and so if I bring it here, I can write mu times mg, I will write x next to it, cos phi is, that is mg x into 2 sin phi. So notice that there is mgx here, there is mgx here which I can cancel. So mu is 2 sin phi by cos phi, mu is 2 times tan phi. So you can see how by using energy concepts we can solve this question in less than half a minute. So the same physics question can take you 5 minutes, 
But if you think differently, you can solve it in half a minute.